So, mewing news. Well, news seems to be mewing. I've been amazed at what's been occurring recently. I'm wondering when my surname became a verb. It, uh, it's, it's certainly interesting and it's certainly bringing an important focus to what we're trying to do and the message clearly that we want to get out of that. I was interested looking, uh, I, I put m mewing into YouTube yesterday and was, I, I, how could I describe it, just blown away. I've been saying these type of things for, well, my, all my life, I guess, and all of my professional life, certainly, and to actually have other people realising it and understanding it has been a, a bit of a revelation, I guess. Now, I've looked at several videos, um, I won't say which ones, I've seen some, 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 some really good quality presentations, people who really understand what I'm saying, who are helping to pass this message on, and I'm sure I'm going to be able to learn a lot from you. I, clearly, there's many more things I will be able to bring to the table. I've been watching and, you know, my concept of leaving no stone unturned in my effort to find out what might work and what things might help bunny hop people along this incredibly difficult journey, you know, changing you. That's a difficult thing to do, remembering to do that all the time. It's so it, it's so difficult, I would say it was crazy to attempt to do this. And yet the benefits of doing such is so vast that it would be crazy not to. So they're yeah, mewing. No, no, no one owns the science. I don't own this science. I don't want to own this science. This is about collaboration and it's a very interesting sort of phenomena that's going on here because we seem to have this sort of professional and non-professional interest that I hope we can nurture because whereas I can bring some ideas to the table so can many other people bring ideas but one of the things I really want to get out there is for people to take good imagery I have I'm interested in looking at some of these you know spectacular facial changes I've seen but the imagery is poor and what I'd really encourage you to do, I did do a video on it, I'll link it under the, about taking extra oral photographs. I'm not the only one, go and look at, um, just type in extra oral photography for dentistry, probably would be a good thing. But what I'd encourage you to do is find a place with really good artificial lighting. Someone like a art museum, a regular museum, often the sort of ground floors of big office blocks, you know, these smart big office blocks. I would try and go for someone with artificial lighting because then it's reproducible. Get a friend with a telephoto camera, so a decent camera, you know, a proper SLR camera with a telephoto lens. They stand as far away as possible and then zoom in because then you remove this sort of parallax that, you know, if you hold your iPhone two inches from your nose and take a photograph of yourself, it looks distorted. And that's due to parallax, you know, the perspective from where you are. And the further back you stand and zoom in, the more you get rid of this parallax and the more you get a, a true image of what you see there. Now, the other thing is, I, I'm, is the tooth placement. One of the... Um, videos I saw was talking about aligning the teeth up till you had a normal overjet. So if you've got an overbite and an overjet, they would they were recommending placing your teeth in a normal, an ideal position. Oh, that's being what ideal is. Now, I have always erred on the side of being conservative. So you would bring your teeth into their normal biting position now, what some people are recommending is a non-conservative approach. So you place your teeth into a new position. And this is the thing. So a lot of people have their teeth set. In orthodontics, we refer to as a unit. You know, Your teeth are supposed to lock in together. And some people, they lock in a unit behind or even a unit forwards. And many people, it's sort of halfway between and the teeth don't really mesh or lock in properly. If you want to change the position where your teeth are biting together, so being non-conservative, then you're in, 
You're in water I've not really explored in this method before. This is clearly what I would do in my clinic using uh, more sophisticated equipment and, and appliances that would guide you into this position and then we time these appliances. I have always recommended mewing or following the tropic premise, which is now called mewing, with the teeth in the normal position where you habitually have them in, so in a conservative position. But of course, I only really, really understand mewing properly on me, and my teeth fit together in a close to what we would want, modern norm. So I'm not in a really good position to subscribe on me what you should be, you know, doing. I've only got the example of me. So my suggestion is that you at least consider these approaches. I think that if you're going to be non-conservative, you're going to find it much, much harder to get a change because as much as you want to hold this new position, you'll slip back into the old position. And then you have this, how much time you're in one position, how much time you're in the other position. You've got to really get up to most of the time if you want to change. And I think think you'll struggle because habits are very, very strong things. So personally, I've always placed my teeth in their natural position and worked within that position, maintaining a butterfly bite. So you, 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 as you bring your teeth into contact, you've got your tongue on the roof of your mouth acting as the natural antagonist to pull them apart. So you're never going to get this clenching and grinding. And that's a very important thing because otherwise you're going to get jaw joint problems and, and lots of other issues. So look around. If you're going to if you're going to start mewing, look around. Make sure you've got some good information. Make sure you know what you're doing and don't cause yourself problems. Of course, our big worry is massive chewing and jaw joint issues. So be sensible and take good records. Happy mewing.